Okay, that was fun. Come here. Okay. Hi. My name is Audrey Swindell, and I have um, breast cancer. And um, the reason I want to do this is my really good friend said came to me. Um, he came up here to help me out because I got some issues going on. And uh, he's going to help me when I go into surgery and have my mastectomy. They're going to take the right one off. Um, he asked me if I'd make a film about this breast cancer, and I said, yeah, sure. It's a really personal subject, but the reason I want to do this is because <clears throat> um, I've made a lot of bad, bad choices. Um, that I believe have possibly brought around the breast cancer, and if not the breast cancer, um, most definitely um, having to take medication all the time just to control my depression and anxiety disorders. That's something I, I, I know diet contributes to that big time, and I'm not the only one who suffers from that. My daughter has huge problems um, some of it due to her diet, some of it to some very unfortunate things that have happened in, in my son's diet. Um, he's a bit hyperactive. <laughs> very hyperactive. Um, I know it has a lot to do with his diet. Uh, um, but I think it's important to make a contribution somehow, in some way, um, not just to society, but to my children. Um, if anything goes amiss, there's something I'd like to leave them, and that's um, the thought process of making better decisions. Um, for Well, I grew up on McDonald's, of course, McDonald's and Disneyland. And um, not a lot of healthy stuff, really. Uh, but a lot of Pepsi, fourth generation Pepsi drinker, I would drink Pepsi every single day with no water, absolutely none, no water. Um, water was just icky. When I was like 16 and living with my dad, I drank water on a regular basis, but I lived in New Mexico in the heat constantly. And, um, hold up. Hey, knock it off. So this is the hyper kid we're talking about. He's had how many how many ice cream bars have you had today? He's had four ice cream, four ice cream bars today. Um, anywho, um, normally I don't buy him that junk, but I went and got it from him this week. He ate it up real real fast. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I I normally drink. Uh, I, I would drink so much Pepsi and never any water. Um, that that was my say. My that was what I got me through the day. I had to have Pepsi, 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 Pepsi. And it didn't matter how sick I felt. I had to have a Pepsi. I've weaned myself off Pepsi since moving to the desert. Um, I haven't weaned myself off of it. I've cut back severely. Um, Moving to the desert, you get exhausted, so um, a bit dehydrated. So you want to drink more water; it's it's better for you. But um, anywho, um, are you making noise on purpose? Take that as a yes. For years, I went, um, I ate nothing but fast food. I had a boyfriend and we never cooked. We always rented rooms and that was when my children were living with my mom and um, we ate fast food every single day. We just, we didn't eat anything healthy. 
And I'm not much of a cook, so pretty much my children and I eat fast food a lot. You know, and if we're not eating fast, well, if I'm not eating fast food, my son eats a lot. It still doesn't matter. He'll eat anything. Um, if I'm not eating fast food, I usually don't eat. I've bought health food, <laughs> but I look at it and it doesn't cook itself. So what the hell? We get McDonald's. And um, of course, I smoke. I've been smoking since I'm 15. I am now 31. Like I said, I have breast cancer. Apparently, it's a, a progressive breast cancer. It has never been in my family. I'm the first person to get it, and I'm only 31, um, which is not the typical age for anyone to come down with um, breast cancer, although it has happened to younger women. Um, but like I said, it is not something that, that's happened to my family before. Um, Anywho, I've got my friend Seth here who is a, I've always picked on him for being such a health freak. I've always picked on him for that. I can understand it. And he's going to teach me how to eat healthier and uh, teach me how to cook healthy and teach my children how to cook healthy. And hopefully we'll see some improvements. And right now I've got a daughter with um, severe emotional problems. Part of that, um, some of the things that have happened to her and some of the things that, um, um, just our diet and um, so um, she right now is in juvie because uh, we we switched um, she was on medication to help calm her down and she had a change in insurance and we couldn't get the right insurance for her and we couldn't get the right medication for her and it caused a lot of problems with her depression and her anger she has violent tendencies and so on and right now she's in juvie for just for the simple fact that she couldn't couldn't keep her uh, attitude in check. And I know a lot of that had to do with her not being able to get her medications, which was hard. I, it was something I was trying to get her. I took um, some NAMI classes and so on to help her out, but um, I couldn't get to the medication. Um, then, then I tried working with the diet, but like I said, I'm not that great a cook. My kids hate eating my food. <laughs> um, so, like I said, personally, Seth's going to help me learn, teach me how to cook and stuff so that my daughter loves his food. Um, anywho's, um, but yeah, so we're going to film this and we're going to see what changes come about and see how the breast cancer comes about. Of course, I want to beat it. I don't want anything to happen. And, uh, And we're gonna we're gonna work on it, and I'm gonna quit smoking, because uh, when my daughter comes back tomorrow, that I probably believe she is. If she does it, I'll be quite sad. But um, this is one thing I don't want her to be around at all is smoking, and I don't want it around my son. And we just got to make a whole a whole lifestyle change. It's not that I haven't tried before. I just, I guess now that I have breast cancer, it's a lot more life-threatening. <laughs> and it's a must. So um, I, I don't want this happening to my children. And I want them better off. So that's what this is about. We'll see what's up. Do you have anything to add, Alex, other than obnoxiousness? Do you think eating all that sugar is good for you? Do you think that's had anything to do with the way you're acting? Or do you just like acting this way? It's tearing out of my face. Alrighty. What do you think? I'm worried about the...